Hi, this is Vanessa Joy here with Adorama TV, and today we're doing more on the Create No Matter What Challenge. Now, this challenge is all about perspective, and you may have already seen Nathan Lee Allen's perspective video. He did some really cool stuff with some potatoes and pretzels and a little Lego man, but I decided to take a different perspective to this perspective challenge, and we are going to use my Canon EOS R. I've got a 24 to 105 f4 lens on here, uh, and you also see I have the Connect and the C1, and I've got a mirror on the ground. Don't want you to step on that, but we're gonna use this, and we're gonna use my daughter because, well, we are still in lockdown, and that's all I got for you. So, hey, Lissy, can I come take a picture of you? Look at you. All right, can you go down to that corner right there? Crisscross applesauce. Yeah, there you go. We are also using a pro grade card. Definitely nice and secure in there. All right, let's get shooting. The first thing I had Felicity do was sit down and look into the mirror. To be honest, the shots weren't exactly what I was looking for, but I decided to put on the Pro Photo C1 to get a little bit more light in her eyes. After that, we changed position, and then my very favorite last thing that we did was have Felicity face down on the mirror, and I placed two full Pro Photo CTO gels on the C1. Now these are magnetic, so they plop on really quickly, and I messed around with having a nice golden glow over her hair. All right, let me show you some of the images. Funny that this was all about perspective because when I came in and I started looking at all the photos, it did like the ones at the end, but the ones that I had on top where I had her looking down into the mirror, they just weren't what I wanted. It wasn't actually until I came in and I flipped them that I realized that's what I was looking for. And it took literally a change in perspective from post-processing to see that and to like the photos a little bit better. So perfect perspective challenge, not only just using the mirror, but then noticing that the shift of the image made it that much more interesting. So these are all straight out of camera. I'm gonna edit, of course, my favorite ones for you. But I thought I would show you the difference between how I shot it and it not being as exciting as if I changed my perspective this way. And now it seems as if I am looking through the mirror, through the eyes of my child. So we tried as she lay down to change the position of the C1. We first tried laying it on her back to get that position. I didn't love it, so we switched to the opposite and had it just off of camera left, but didn't particularly like that as much either. I ended up needing to ask my husband who was filming this to stop for a second and hold the light behind her, so you can see his leg there, and have the light come streaming in from behind. This not only helped light her hair evenly, here, but also gave a little bit of a reflection in the mirror as well, which I liked because if you look at the difference between this photo where you have that light coming in and this photo where you don't, that's definitely a drastic difference and I really like the one with the light a little bit better. All right, let's get editing. Normally I edit in either Capture One or Lightroom, but I decided to go into Lightroom for these because I knew I would want to use some of the local adjustment brush presets that I have. You'll notice there's a very different editing style for what I'm doing here. I decided, you know what, what kind of artist am I if I can't play every once in a while? So I went outside my normal editing routine to try something a little bit different. First, I went through the presets that I have. I'll put a link to those below. But then I decided to create a whole new one based off of her dress. I wanted to turn it to a little bit more of a teal and then have a very warm yellow to contrast that and have sort of complementary colors in more of a muted type sense. I like what I came up with. It's not my usual style, but hey, gotta play every once in a while. This is all for the Create No Matter What Challenge on Perspective. Thanks for taking pictures of me. Wait, I just did this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't flash yourself. I'll teach you how to do that. There's a technique on that. Give me that. <laughs> you have until May 27th to submit your photo for the Create No Matter What Perspective Challenge to win a huge prize pack. It's definitely something that you can do at home. Be creative, have fun. I'm Vanessa Joy for Adorama TV, and we will see you next time.